and gentlemen, welcome to the new year and the BW Nut 1967 channel on YouTube. I'd like to thank all of you for being here. Um, welcome to the BW Nut Garage and this winter's project, my 1969 Volkswagen Fastback. And um, what we are working on today is a whole bunch of parts clean up like we have so many parts to this engine to clean up um so we're just going through and um you know whatever it takes this is a little bit of wire wheel and uh some things like that spray paint's coming we're just waiting for the weather to warm up just a little bit we you guys seen when i walked in we had the heat on in here so um just had like a snowy icy sludgy sort of um storm come through uh so i'm gonna get to work on some of this i won't bore you guys with that and uh i'll just kind of give you guys the before and after of the parts as i go through them so this is before of the outer kind of fan shroud intake i guess you would call it and uh we'll show you the after after i get it cleaned up a little bit All right, we got most of the, all of the heavy stuff off of that outer fan shroud just with the wire wheel. So we'll set that to the side and move on to the next piece. Um, next. What do we want to do next? There's so many pieces. So Next, we're going to do this piece of cooling tin that separates the engine uh, from the uh, underneath of the car. It's chucked up in here somehow. That'll work. I'll bring you guys back when we get that all nice and shinier. All right, so I turned you guys back on because I have to remove that pressure I believe it is a fuel pressure regulator I could be wrong I've been wrong before um this thing but I think that's where your adjustment for uh your fuel pressure is and that big guy is huge huge it's a very good let's go with Seventeen, 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 seventeen. It's definitely a seventeen. However, actually is cooperating better than I had anticipated. She's fantastic. So that went through the big hole there, future Brian. Where are we at? We're right here. Went through the big hole. I'll take that grommet out too. It went through the big hole right there and was oriented that way. There is a worn out rubber gasket there we'll have to replace put that back on there put this back on the shelf and we'll get back to cleaning all right well we're just about done we got a few more spots we need to clean up on this tin but i did knock this um i did knock this grommet out of here uh, so I just wanted to make sure that I recorded that it where it goes back in on that side with the big hole. And uh, we'll go back to cleaning up and we'll put this with the other parts and later I'll wonder what is that part and uh, bring you guys back and let you look at this uh, all shiny when we get there. All right, so this is ready to go back on the shelf, and uh, that's where we'll put it. 
for right now. Looking good, and we'll move on to the next piece. All right, next is gonna be the two parts of the air cleaner. We're gonna start with the top part first. Uh, we'll see what happens with that sticker when we get there. I'm sure we can get more stickers if we need them. All right, so we got all the heavy stuff knocked off of the air cleaner, so it can go back on the shelf, but you guys won't believe this, but Patina came out of hibernation to join us. Hi, Patina. Right by the heater, um, and uh, maybe you'll see her more of her. Maybe we won't. This time of year, she doesn't do too much. Hang out under a blanket, usually on the couch or on one of her beds. So uh, we'll see what is the next part. We're gonna clean the heaviest junk off of, and uh, we'll do that. All right, so. We started with the underneath of one of the tins. I tried to scrape some of the crusty stuff off, but we'll go ahead with the wire wheel for a little while. And uh, you guys will look at that when I get done with that one. Um, see what it looks like. All right, well, you see my spinny situation over there. That got this one all nice and clean. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the next side. Get this put on the shelf with three parts. Grab this here dirty part, give you guys a look at the before. So here's the before. And uh, we'll bring you back after some scraping and some cleaning. <clears throat> Alright, we got another piece of that under tin done. Move right on to Here's the before of this crusty demon of Volkswagen tin accessory. We'll get that guy cleaned up. Alright, so we got that one all clean. We'll put it on the shelf and see what we go after next. Let's go after its, um, its left-sided brother. Uh, look at all that goodness. Let's get that cleaned off of there and uh, I'll bring you guys back. What? What? Oh, we're under attacking some things. Anyway, we got this one uh, all nice and clean, so we'll move on to the next one. You can see Patina is destroying her undestructible, indestructible toy testing toy. And, uh, we'll see what's up next. Oh, we're starting to run out of small pieces, which must mean it's probably time for some paint, right? Go ahead and clean up this guy next. All right, so uh, there's that one. Might as well go ahead and do the uh, the left-sided twin while we're at it. Well, that's going to take care of that one. I think that pretty much concludes all of the small parts that need to be painted. Um, we do need to do the header, um, but I have a different idea for that. Uh, let me get you guys set up quick. First of all, thank each and every one of you. Hi for tuning in to this episode of the VW 1967 channel on YouTube. Um, I'm going to probably air this New Year's Day 
uh, where I live, so I'd like to wish everybody a happy 2020. And um, 2019 was good. Uh, I had a couple of YouTube goals when I started 2019, and we blew every goal I had out of the water. Uh, the first one was to finish the 64 and get it running and driving it. We did that. Uh, also, uh, just a small YouTube thing was to get to 5,000 subscribers. Uh, we blew past that. So I can't do any of that without all of you guys. Um, I never even thought any of that was possible. Um, of course, she is a big part of this. Um, she thinks that she's the only part of this right now. Uh, the whole reason I started YouTube is that I wanted to leave something um, for future generations of my family to look back and see what I was up to in my garage uh, because I wish so much that I could share what my grandfather was up to in his garage with my sons. Um, so that's why I started YouTube. That's why we continue to make videos. I know that some of you guys are here for the Volkswagen only content and there's other content that comes up on my channel that's not Volkswagen only. Um, unfortunately, I hate to say it, but you guys, you know, if you don't, if you don't like what's in the description, you don't have to watch it. Um, as far as Brian's concerned, um, I'm happy to share it with you guys, but it's not for you guys. It's for Patina. We do it for Patina. For Patina, 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 Patina. Yeah. So, again, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being here. And uh, here's to seeing if we can make the goals in uh, 2020. Uh, we'll keep those to ourselves. And uh, we will see you guys in a couple of days.